Fraternal correction and a, and a data correcting someone is a very important part of a loving relationship because none of us are perfect. We need encouragement. We need to have our weaknesses pointed out at times. And we shouldn't hold back and say, look, I think you know, maybe you're repeating your father's temper. Maybe you're repeating your mother's tendency to control. And how about working that? How about asking God to help with that? Or how about trying to give the control more to God? Uh, but there are this block of pride is the major block, I think, to looking at it. The second block, though, is some people have so much buried pain and so much anger you know, that they're, they're afraid to look at it. But so this is where this is the great, virtue, great benefit of the virtue of forgiveness. Well, just think about forgiving in broad strokes. You don't have to get out a microscope and analyze, ooh, this memory and that memory. Just in broad strokes, forgiving people that hurt me in my childhood or my adolescence or dating partners before this person I'm in love with right now. And for, because what happens oftentimes in marriages or in loving rela relationships later, people get this hypersensitivity. Ooh, I'm hurt, you know? He's insensitive. Oh my God, he's insensitive. And then what it does is it hits a whole bank of memories that go way back of insensitive people. So how about thinking about using what we call a past forgiveness exercise and forgiving all those people in the past who were insensitive. People can overreact. Quite frankly, women tend to do this a little more than men. You know, they're so finely tuned. God bless them. But the sensitivity, ooh, you know, so they kind of like, sometimes we husbands are like, well, honey, maybe you need to think about forgiving other people. I'm sorry if I was insensitive. But how about those other people who are insensitive, too? Think about forgiving them, too, and be a little bit easier on me.